Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Good evening, everybody. It's Friday night in the big sky. Going to start off tonight with this picture from Tammy Hawk Halter. Tonight's sunset. Beautiful one there, huh? Look at this picture here. This is called the Star of Freedom. Lynn Richardson sent this picture. It's in northwestern Park County, Wyoming. And what we have here basically is uh, this was done in 2003. Etched in 2003. It was in remembrance of a veteran, so obviously, and also in remembrance of the 9-11 tragedy. So a nice looking picture there. Thanks for sending that in, Lynn. Meanwhile, here's what's happening in Billings right now. Not a bad night here on your Friday night. Temperatures are 30. Six degrees, mostly cloudy skies still. We have a south wind at about eight miles per hour. It gives us a wind chill factor that feels like 30 degrees out there tonight. You'll notice here 42 degrees. First time we've been to the 40s since November 1st. So it's been nine days before uh, in between getting into the 40s. We did it today. 48, your normal high. The record 68 back in 2007. 12 below back in 1986. What about precipitation? Nothing new to add to the totals. So we're still ahead of normal for the month. We're at 1550 on the year. That means we're still ahead of normal at 12 and three quarters. So doing well in that department. Our current temps around the state, uh, basically into the 30s out in the west. We've got a few teens and 20s across the high line. Uh, 22 over Jordan here in Billings. We're still 36. But look at Cody. Oh, it's nice down there. 40 degrees right now. You can see it's 40. It's also it was our high temperature Glendive today. 48 was the high in Mile City. Billings high was 42. 49 of Cody, but Sheridan actually topped out at 53 degrees today. Beautiful day down there. Now, what's going to happen? We have basically clear skies here. We had a lot of sunshine in eastern Montana today. But your next system is this one out here. It's been producing a little rain and snow around west central Montana today. Now, that's a low pressure cell up there, and that's going to start dropping its way in towards the Billings area. As it does so, it's drawing a lot of moisture into that low. You got cold air coming in here from the north. And so, as this moisture overruns that cold air, it's turning it into scattered rain and snow showers, probably a little freezing rain mixing with snow in the morning at 6 a.m. Then that whole thing kicks out of here and goes to the uh, and handle of Nebraska, and then we'll be left with mostly sunny skies and warmer temperatures for later on in the afternoon on Saturday. Then on Sunday, that's a warm front moving through. That'll make some sunny skies and warmer temperatures on Sunday as well. So really nice looking weekend in store for us. But tonight we're going to cool back down into the 20s and 30s across the western half of our viewing area. Back here, teens and 20s with generally partly cloudy skies. And then for tomorrow, back to the 30s, some low 40s in Billings, 41 degrees here, round up 40 degrees. In the far west, we'll be back up into the 40s there. 42 over in Missoula, 39 of Butin, 38 over in Dillon. But tonight at uh, midnight tonight in Billings, you're going to see 34 degrees, partly cloudy skies, about a 50% chance for snow in the morning or maybe mixing with rain. Worst case scenario, we might wind up with another inch of snow out of that. Then the sun comes back out about noontime, partly cloudy skies, a slight chance for some rain. Then, then at 6 p.m., partly cloudy dry and maybe 33 degrees. 41 will be the high temperature on Veterans Day and at 50% chance for rain and snow in the morning. Then on Sunday noon, it'll be uh, Sunday, it should be 42 degrees. Then Monday, 49 degrees with mostly sunny skies. As we head into Tuesday, it's Turkey Tuesday, 46 degrees. Then into the 40s on Wednesday, Thursday, 42 on Friday. Slight chance for rain and rain mixing with snow on Thursday and Friday as well. That's weather. Let's go back to David.